Hi, this is Pia Sundar. Welcome to Pre Market Report sponsored by Delta.exchange and Tradex.live. They are a platform where you can trade with 500x leverage and zero brokerage. US markets fell. The Dow fell for fourth straight day. And yesterday it has fallen more than 500 points, the worst fall. With this fall, the Dow is down 3% in four days. And I have been saying, you know, US markets is up 10, 11 percent. We are up only 2, 3 percent. You know, uh, we have to catch up. So to catch up, we may have to move 7, 8 percent. But not necessary that we have to move 7, 8 percent up. Uh, it's also possible US market can come down 5, 6 percent. So then also we can uh, catch up each, with each other. So uh, anyway, you know, so this is just for fun. So let us see what is going to happen. But uh, I find that, you know, uh, I'll just give a little bit more explanation why US markets are falling. Uh, NVIDIA and Google came under severe selling pressure and Asian markets are also following the US markets. And GIF Nifty is indicating about 100 points uh, gap down. Uh, it was indicating 100 point gap up yesterday night, right? So US markets also went up very nicely, you know, uh, in the last one hour, two hour, you know, uh, I cannot be woken up until that time. So I just tend to sleep. So until I was watching the US market, it was well in green. But I went to sleep in the last one hour or one and a half hour that the market crashed. You know, uh, falling is not a big problem, but the problem yesterday, it went up and then came down. Say, for example, Nasdaq was higher nearly about 150, 200 points. Then from there it fell 400, 450 points. Now, people are worried about the uh, rate cut. So initially the people thought, you know, uh, there will be some kind of a rate cut in the month of March. But at some point of time, Fed chairman clearly indicated that there will be no rate cut in March. But however, he said there will be three rate cuts in uh, this calendar year. So that's why the people assume there will be rate cut in March, but that did not come. Now the question is, people started questioning, will there be any rate cut in June, right? And the kind of uh, economic data coming, inflation, the economy is looking very, the problem with the US is that their economy is very, very strong. As long as the economy is very, very strong, you know, the Fed may delay cutting the rates. So that's why, you know, sometimes in stock market, good news is a bad news. So now they start questioning, with, will there be any rate cut in June? But some pessimistic people are even talking, you know, will there be any rate cut in this calendar year? Uh, it's not said by some common man, one of the governors of the Fed. He said, you know, there may not be any rate cut in the entire year 2024. So this makes market very, very jittery. And moreover, today is the first Friday of the month. The first Friday of the month, there will be US jobs data. So ahead of that, you know, people were very, very jittery. They booked the profits. So if the jobs data comes, you know, oh, very good, more jobs created, that means economy is very good. That means rate cut will be delayed. Uh, so if economy is not adding more jobs, adding less jobs, then economy is in trouble. The rate cut will be coming. So therefore, you know, that's why I always say good news is a bad news. Bad news is a good news when it comes to a stock market and the economic data. Right. So I think nowadays I talk more about US markets than Indian markets because there is nothing much to talk about Indian market. Indian market are just, you know, uh, moving randomly. Right. So uh, or due to all these problems, you know, uh, US markets came under severe selling pressure. Like then one guy put it, you know, uh, S&P 500 is trading around 30 to 33 percent, uh, you know, higher valuation compared to the uh, long term average. So if any bad news, the fall can be very, very severe. In the last one hour, uh, S&P 500 has fallen about uh, roughly about 2 percent. So coming back to our market, you know, as I told you already, we have already gone through a lot of commotion in the last four weeks. And you know, this um, uh, CB directive on mid cap, small cap, you know, and yeah, n number of issues. 
so we are not likely to fall you know as much as uh, us markets but in a day to day market we will always be reacting with the us say for example okay uh, if our underlying current is bullish if us falls 1% we will fall half a percent when us goes up by 1% we will go up by 2% so while falling we will fall less while going higher we will go more so in this way over a longer period of time we may be outperforming but on a day to day basis so you know when us markets are down asian markets are down naturally you know at the opening itself you know short sellers will come and sell the shares so day to day basis we will be always moving with the global queues but you know a uh, longer period of time things can be uh, different right so see day to day basis we are uh, moving along with them but why we are down like we are up only 2 3% while us market is up at 10 11% since january 1 so today uh, important event that we have to watch for our market is uh, the rbi policy but 99.99% you know uh, rbi is not uh, likely to cut the rate or raise the rate but what people will be looking for the comment from the rbi governor so rbi comfort range for inflation is 4% plus or minus 2% that means from 2% to 6% our inflation is slightly more than 5% so number one inflation is not a problem but at the same time inflation is not in a very comfortable zone so therefore considering the forex uh, movements and this and that so you know uh, we may align our rate cut along with us markets so otherwise there may be some pressure on the rupee and already rbi is feeling some pressure on the rupee so that's why you know all of a sudden they came and not all of a sudden they announced it in the month of january they said you know uh, speculators should not enter into uh, currency options or currency futures uh, only hedges can come uh, if only hedges have to be there i don't know how the market can function right so uh, hedges speculators and arbitrages all three people will have to be in the market then only the market can be a dynamic and liquid so i i do not know but uh, the probably you know rbi is feeling that you know so this currency speculation has to be stopped and you know uh, two days before when this uh, brokers announced it you know uh, rupee price did not move at all but option prices one option went from 50 paisa to 21 rupees so put option how can a put option you no know, can go to 21 rupees the rupee is trading around 83 and put option indicate a price around uh, 61 rupees uh, it was an abrasion panic but now rbi has extended this uh, for one more month you know this deadline uh, but that is just like a movies you know the police will come only in the last scene uh, after everything is over after all the commotions and after people have lost heavily this uh, abrasive movements okay now finally are be coming and giving okay we give one more month time okay so uh you know uh, crude oil is higher a uh, geopolitical tension is adding fuel to the fire uh, brent crude is above 91 dollar you know this is about five year high so that's not a good news for uh, auto stocks so therefore you know um, right now things are not uh, looking good but uh, since we have the damage is already done in indian market so the further damage may not be very high so that is the hope and moreover uh, technically now hdfc bank nifty and bank nifty all three of them are uh, long but again as i said if there is a very very big rally or following period may be a very very choppy period where few times the technicals can fail the same thing if there is a big crash then after that followed by a choppy period you know uh, the technicals may not work but the thing is you know if you don't take the position based on the technicals then you may miss out uh, next big rally or next big crash as and when it comes so that's why you know two or three time taking the stop loss is better than not taking any uh, positions 
So uh, yesterday, uh, one of my friends asked me for some strategy, and I told him, okay, what is your uh, support? Uh, what is your resistance? So he said, my support is twenty two thousand Nifty. Uh, resistance is twenty three thousand five hundred. So he said, you know, this thousand five hundred point can be the range. Then I told him, you buy twenty two thousand call option for May series, okay? Because current month series, you know, the premium will be very very less. So you know, gamma effect will take into the um, uh, picture. So for the May series, I told him to buy twenty two thousand call option. Sell double the quantity twenty three thousand call option. Sell double the quantity twenty two thousand put option. So the premium he paid and the premium he received, uh, the premium received is actually more. It's a credit strategy. So this strategy will give um, fantastic profit if the market trades between twenty two thousand five hundred to twenty three thousand, right? And uh, upper break even will be about twenty three thousand five hundred. But lower break even will be Twenty-two thousand, or something like that. You know, so this is just for the education purpose, just to see, you know, uh, what kind of view you take accordingly, what kind of positions can be uh, taken in futures and options, and uh, you know, uh, but please do not take these positions because you know, uh, my workshop attendees, uh, they will know how to adjust the positions when things go wrong. And we do n number of adjustments. You know, even today also in Twitter, one guy asked me, "Sir, I lost heavy amount in U.S. markets. Can you please help me? Uh, how to help people? You know, uh, it depends upon you know, like you know, uh, uh, you you have to explain the whole thing. That may take you know number of hours, at least eight to ten hours, right? So that is possible only when people attend our workshop." So that we can spend so much time, right? So adjustment and the other things, you know, is based on your capital, your risk appetite, you know. So you do some trade for adjustment. That adjustment trade can go wrong. So you may have to do adjustment trade for adjustment, you know. So you know the stock markets, you know, when they especially when they start moving randomly, things will get into problem. So yesterday, HDFC Bank moved higher significantly because you know there was some deposit growth. But today, Bajaj Finance uh, business outlook came. I think uh, that looks very impressive. But the price has already shot up so much. So today, we have to watch uh, Bajaj Finance. Uh, we have to watch uh, HDFC Bank, uh, which is uh, more than five percent higher in US ADR. But that is nothing big because you know, day before yesterday it was down one and a half two percent. Yesterday here, HDFC Bank was up three percent. So put together that five percent. So that's only is gone up. So Bank Nifty will be jittery first one hour, and once the RBI policy is over, some traction will happen. So let us see. Right now the markets are you know uh, opening gap down. As I told you, this is a market. You know it's a buy on dip market, not sell on rise market. Uh, today, if the jobs data comes good, uh, good for the stock market in US. Again, the US markets can. a uh, rally but that is an event risk you cannot do anything so that's why you know always trade with hedge trade with a stop loss you know uh, if you want uh, i can give one more strategy right so the best strategy now with the limited risk is buying a 23000 put option in the may series and selling 23000 put option in the current series so which is a put calendar So the put calendar will give profit if the market goes and closes around twenty three thousand by the end of this month. Uh, then this can give a very fantastic profit. However, the loss on the downside will be very limited because you have one buy and one sell. And going forward, the wicks will also uh, likely to increase because wicks cannot be at this low. So as I told you, markets can chop around between twenty two thousand and twenty three thousand, and then. Some breakout or breakdown can happen only after the corporate results. So I think I have talked too much today. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.